In this video, we're going to be doing the exercise at the beginning of Chapter 4. I've already done one video where we started the way that the book asks us to. Starting at point 2, comma 2, we work our way to the right and up and around till we get to this top point. And then we come back to 2, comma 2, and we work our way from the left side, working our way up. Because we don't have this dimension right here, we had to work around it in two different directions to get this final length right here. In this video, however, what I'm going to do is actually start at the top right here and work my way backwards through this entire thing. In doing this, I'm going to be able to do it all with one continuous line command. However, I'm going to have to put a little more thought. It's a little more challenging because we're going to have to put some thought into the angles that we're doing here especially when we get down to this area right here. So we're going to talk about supplementary angles and complementary angles and opposite angles. All right, so coming in here to get started, I'm going to start the line command. Instead of starting at 2 comma 2 where it says, we're going to start at 3 comma 9 since we're starting at the very top of this object. So here's my 3 comma 9. I had to scroll out a little bit so I could find it. So there's my 3 comma 9 for my start point. And now we're going to just work our way through here. So the first thing that I have is actually a relative coordinate. So relative to that top little part, we're now going to go in a positive x direction and a positive y direction. To do this, we're going to start with that at symbol. And we need to type in x first, 0.625 comma y 0.25 zoom in here so I can see it now I'm gonna turn on my ortho which is f8 for my straight lines I'm gonna type in 0 0.50 go this direction it's a distance of 1 back up again 0 0.50 back over 1.25 down 1 over 0.5 now we get to our first angle here so it tells us our angle is a distance of 1 but we need to figure out what angle that actually is so going back into what we learned in chapter 2 talking about supplementary angles so supplementary angles are angles that equal 180 degrees so and looking at this, trying to figure out what angle I actually need to make this, this part, we've got, in this picture you can see, it's 135 degrees going this way, with this as the vertex of the angle. But what I need to do is figure out what this angle is down here. So that, it would be a supplementary angle. So I would take 135 from 180 to figure out that distance. So 180 minus 135, let's get back into the line command here. We're going to type in a distance of 1. And then we're going to type in our angle. We're going to pull it below that eastern horizon so that we can get an angle going straight down here. So 135 from 180 is 45 degrees. Perfect. Now instead of using ortho this time, I think I'm going to come in here and use polar. So you remember what polar does is it kind of guides you in certain degree increments. And I think I'll just set it to the basic 90 degree increments here. That way I can draw perfectly straight lines without being locked into them. Alright, so I'm going to type in a distance of 1.5. Then we get to the next part here. And this one is a little bit tricky. So I know that it's a distance of, let's go into this drawing to see it. I know that this is a distance. We're down here in this corner. It's a distance of 0.75, but it's got, all it gives me is that it's got an angle of 135. So let's take a look at that. I'm actually come in here and kind of drawn up a little example of it. But what's going on here? So starting at this corner, 
we know that it's got an angle of 135 to down here. If this is the vertex, what we're looking at is we've talked about supplementary angles, so that 135 and this angle up here would be a supplementary angle, but what we're really going for is we're actually going for an opposite angle here. So if it's 35 degrees in this direction, then the line would actually be 35 degrees going down because they're opposite angles. So coming back over here, I can draw this. My distance was 0.75 and my angle, keeping it below that eastern horizon now, I can just type in 35 degrees for this angle. Now I need to figure out this angle over here tells me that it's 0.75 again and it gives me that it's 35 degrees. Let's come back over here. It tells me that it's 35 degrees from here, but if I'm heading down in this direction, this 35 doesn't help. I need the I need the supplementary angle. So if this one is 35, then the angle itself is going to be 145 because those two add up to the straight line which is 180 degrees. So I'll come back into here. I'm going to type in my distance, 0.75, and then I'm going to type in my angle, 145. Remember to keep your mouse below that eastern horizon. And I've got it. So now I'm just going to pull it straight down, a distance of 0.50, over a distance of 1.375. Up. 0.625 over 1.5 down 0.625 over make sure that when you're doing this that you if you're using polar that you are still drawing straight lines so this one is a 0.375 up 0.875 over 0.75, down 0.875, over 0.5, up 1.2, and then we need to find this angle right here. So we know that it's 38 degrees from 0, or from 180, I'm sorry. So looking at supplementary angles, We've got another supplementary angle here. So it's 38 degrees up this direction. Subtract that 38 from 180 and we're left over with 142. So our distance was 150. Our angle is 142. When you're typing that in, make sure that you're above. Oops. Make sure that you're above the eastern horizon. My distance was 1.50, not 150. Angle 142. Now right here, I've got a relative coordinate, so I'm going to be going in the positive x direction and the positive y direction. So we'll start with the at symbol, 0.325 along the x, comma, 0.875 along the y. My next dimension tells me it's a 0.75. Press tab at an angle of 15 degrees. Oops, I did that below the eastern horizon, so I need to undo. Bring it above the eastern horizon, so it does 100 or 15 degrees above the eastern horizon. So 0.75. Press tab at 15 degrees. And now I can just click up here to close the object. And I've drawn the exercise backwards.